Math Worksheet Generator Review. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator Beat and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online with low content products like KDP, low content books, printables and digital planners. So Math Worksheet Generator launches on the 22nd of July 2022 and the launch period ends on the 26th of July 2022 at midnight eastern standard time so what does the launch period mean it means that you actually can purchase math worksheet generator for a launch price so what do you get you get a front end that is 47 dollars, a pro version that is oto1 for 67 dollars OTO2 or um, premium version is $97 and OTO3 or elite version is $67 during the launch. These prices go up after the launch and those prices change to $97 for the front end, $97 for OTO1 or pro, $197 for premium or um, OTO2. Two, and for OTO3 or Elite, it goes up to 147. But let's go and check out Math Worksheet Generator. So when you log in, it will actually come to this page here, Math Worksheet Generator. You'll see that there's training support and a face group. Now, Narinjin and BP Misra that created this tool along with their team are absolutely fantastic in giving support and are always making sure everything works and correcting things and if there's something specific that you want, you just need to say, and if they can do it, they will do it. So if you click on training, you will come to this sheet here that's got all the different things with different questions and answers. So you might say, well, how do I do fractions? How do I do decimals and things like that? You can come in here and check it out. Each page is set up to be just like this. So how to add page numbers to your book. There's a mini video that Naringin's done. And then there's all these screenshots as well. So you don't need to sit and watch a video. You can just come in, check the screenshots, follow them, and then work through that. Then let's click on access. Now, depending on what levels you've bought, so if you've just bought the front end, that's what you'll see if you've bought OTO1, the pro version or premium version, you'll see that there and elite. But if you click the front end for access now, it will bring you to that and it actually includes everything that you have purchased. So what is this funnel about? It's like buying a car. Now, if you go and buy a brand new car from a dealership, there's usually a base model and then they offer you extras for extra price. Now, before say probably before 2000, if you bought a car, especially here in the UK, they often did not have aircon. And if you wanted aircon, you would have to pay extra for it. So that was an external up upsell. It's the same with a lot of these. There are extra upsells. You can make math worksheets out of the front end can you do a lot of the mass worksheets with the front end? No, a lot of the features, in my opinion, are in the front end OTO1 Pro and OTO2 Premier. I don't think you need OTO3. It's a lovely add-on. So you create collections to actually go in and create your book or your printables or your digital planner. And what you do is you type in uh, what you're going to do. So I'm just going to type sample, click create. Then I'm going to click into sample and it defaults to whatever you were working on before. But if it's the first time you've opened up, you'll actually see this. Now, for the front end, you get addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. There are some things in addition that you do not get until you actually add more. And these are them. They are the this this last group here of seven things where it is adding up to three numbers rather than adding up to two numbers. So that is one of the differences. But you do get access, like I say, to addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. You get access to creating the solution. You get access to download, but only for the PNG, the JPEG and the PDF. You do not get access to that. That only comes in OTO1. And you don't get access to bulk clone, which in my opinion is a huge. It, it is a game changer. So you can also download up to 100 
downloads a month in the front end. When you go to OTO1, you have unlimited downloads, you get download as a PowerPoint and you get access to those seven um, edition things. But not only that, you also get access to long division and to step multiplication, which is those ones there, and also to bulk clone and also to being able to upload your own video and also access to PowerPoint. So you can already see that you get a lot more access with OTO1. And then OTO3, you can create everything that you see down here, which is percentages, decimal fractions, everything like that. And again, all of these come with commercial use. So you can sell them on Amazon, you can sell them on Etsy, and you can sell them on Teachers Pay Teacher. What you cannot do is sell them in places like Creative Fabrica or Creative Market, where it is not going to the final customer. You cannot sell it as PLR. Um, then OTO3 is these images here. So you get access to all of these here for OTO. Three. So if you're going to be using them, they're a great thing. They're a great thing to add to them, but it is not something necessary to actually create the worksheets. It's just a nice add on. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to show you as creating. So we've also got the settings. You have got different um, page sizes that you can use. These are all aimed at the KDP, but obviously if you're doing printables, either the letter size or A4 is great. So you can have no numbering, you can do center align page number, you can set your margins. If you want to show your margins, just click on there and click update. Then if you go back to the main settings, again, you can just select, you can just click on one and it comes out. And you can change your font by clicking here. There's over 900 fonts available. So you can see all of those sorts of fonts. So I don't know. I'll just go on that one there. And you can see that that is changed. You can also change your colors. Auto one has more colors for you. So you can do that. You can also change your font size. Now you can change how many questions you've got. You've got one to 60 because it goes 10 rows by six. So you need to work it out if you only want 20 questions, then you go five rows and four columns, or you can do five columns and four rows. If I click update worksheet, then that has maneuvered for me, change things. I can also change my operation. So I can go from naught to five and I can do naught to five here as well. And then I can update the worksheet. And then I could go back and actually add more to it and mix and match. So what I can do is, oh, I just click back, but as you can see, it's save. Click back there. I can then add a subtraction on. You'll see that it's gone to the same page. Well, all I need to do is again, I need to just change that to five and four. And again, I can change that to naught and I can change that to five and I can change that to naught and I can change that to five. You can go as high as you want as well with those. I can click update and you'll see that now when I drag that down, that that has actually brought that out for me. Now it's still got the old one on there. It's not got the basic regular. So I just need to click on there and I can click type basic R and it will change for me. So I'm back to the same sort of font. You'll also notice that I've got an issue here. I've got one and then I've got one starting again. So my questions go one to 20 and one to 20. Maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want it, this one to start at 21. So I just go down until I see something that says show index. And then instead of start at one, I can just type 21. Click update worksheet and that will change. Again, I can change everything on here to make it look different. And then this is where your images, you could go in and add your images if you've got OTO3. So I can drag that in and I can resize it just to make life a bit different. And 
And then what we can do is we can actually clone these pages. So I'm actually going to take these images off because it would end up cloning the lot. Uh, delete and delete. So if I just want to add one page, I can do or I can clone this page. If I click clone, it will clone the page, but it will change the numbers. That's exactly what I want. And then if you have a bulk clone, you can click on here and bulk clone as many times as you want. So I actually want 10 of those pages. So if I click type in eight and click clone pages, it'll clone me all those eight pages. Now I can also add text, so I can add text there. I can resize that text. And again, I can click in and change so I can do math. Let me go. Math is cool. And then again, I can change my layout with it. Click on the, oh, let me do that again. Math. Is cool. Click off, click on, change, and it's brought it out so that it's centered. And then I can drag that there. And then I could put different messages and things like that. So if I want to add another operation, I could go all the way down and add a new page. And then I could add, if I go back to my worksheet templates, I could go back here and then I could add in some step multiplications as well. And if I want to see the answers, I click on here, go down to the bottom and I want to show zeros and also show solutions. I can update that and then that will show everything there. If I take off show solutions and update, it still keeps the zero. If I take the zeros off, update. If I keep the zero off, update, you'll see that there's no zero there for that one. So that is how that works. So that is Math Worksheet Generator with showing all the OTOs and everything. So again, the front end is $47. OTO 1 is an extra $67. So if you bought those two together, it would be $114. Uh, OTO2, which is the premium version, which gives you all the um, operations, the mass worksheets and everything, is an extra $97. So that would be $211 for everything. And then OTO3 is an extra $67. So that would bring the total for the whole funnel to $278 during the launch period. Um, after the launch period, the whole funnel will be $538. Do I think you need all the funnel? I don't think you need OTO3. It's a great add-on, but I definitely think in order to make it so that you can cover the whole niche and go deep into the niche and create a lot of principles, then you need the front end and OTO1 and OTO2, in my opinion. So what do you get if you purchase through my link? So I have done some bonus. I've done some training. And what I've done is I've done this over shoulder training. I take the book that I created in Math Generator. So I go through creating a full book in Math Generator. And from there, I edit it in Affinity Publisher first. And we actually create a book that you can then go and use to put in KDP. But then I take it further and actually show you how to change that and make it into a digital activity book that can be used with digital planning apps like GoodNotes and Notability. So the first part of the training is all to do with Affinity Publisher. But if you haven't got that, I also do the training with Keynote and with PowerPoint. Now, if you are a Mac user and you've got Keynote and you want to create a digital math activity book, you need to stick with Keynote. If you are a person using Windows and you want to create a digital activity book and you haven't got Affinity Publisher as well, then you need to stick with PowerPoint because that's how the hyperlinks 
work. Everything, Affinity Publisher stuff's already finished, but the um, Keynote and the PowerPoint stuff I'm still busy working on. That'll be finished on the 25th of July. I've also created these math digital stickers. You get 78 PNG stickers that are 300 DPI. You also get 78 SVG stickers. They're the same stickers, but they come in the SVG format. You also get access to the Affinity Designer file, so you can go in and change the color scheme or anything like that or add extra bits. And you also get the SVG file if you don't have Affinity Designer, so you can open that up in other programs like PowerPoint. And you can go in and edit them so you can change the colors and color schemes as well. So that is my bonus that I am giving if you purchase math worksheet. That is just the general bonus. There's no different bonuses for the different um, upsells or anything like that. Go and check it out. It launches at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 22nd of July. I'm going to check out the link below.